Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. I'm going to show you how to make an amazing glow cart for under $25. Obviously, you have to have the cart first, but I'm going to walk through all the tools and the supplies on how you can make glow kit for under $25. Two parts I had to buy, $10 and $13.99. So we'll show you exactly uh, all the tools and the supplies on how I did this. But first, let's show you how awesome this thing looks. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see how sweet it turned out. Wow, that thing is glowing amazing. So we're going to go ahead and kill both of those lights. Mini turned out really well. The disc turned out really well. You can see there's some little imperfections, but again, this has just been a couple of seconds in my garage. And uh, as you're playing all night, those things are gonna be lit forever. Here are the tools and the supplies I used for this. You're gonna need your glow disc, obviously, but the two supplies I used was this UV 24 volt black light. These things do have, I believe, a optional battery pack as well as so you pull them out there's two independent ones and you have the option these ones are a little bit more expensive because you do have the option of turning it into a battery pack but i am just going to use this right here this is a battery pack that will last for days um, i am going to add some cardboard on the inside that's why i did a two pack one pack will go on the rack the other pack will go around just so it's super bright uh, then i just got this steel organizer this thing's from target for 10 bucks so $13.99, 10 bucks. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how it's done. So to save some time, I went ahead and cut the cardboard. Uh, I get a lot of these boxes because I do resin dies and I just took the top, cut it across and it saved the side. This way it will fit in super convenient. You'll see it just kind of folds in and stays really well. This is like the perfect size box. If your box isn't that perfect size, uh, get one that is or do whatever you need to make it work. So that's all set. Looks really good. You can dispose of your other box and the rest of it properly. Now the goal is to go ahead and put together the light system. So we're going to go ahead and unwheel this. And this has that tape on the back side just to get all of it off. Fantastic. And it looks like you can actually add other ones to this. I didn't even know you could do that. So I'm going to start on the end that has the USB-C because I want it easy to get my battery pack. So because I want this to go underneath in here, I'm gonna start this bad boy and just start it like right here, going up. And you do have to press pretty firm on it. And then corners are kind of no fun. You just gotta kind of make them work. So you just kind of bend it over itself. And then you're gonna do this the whole way. It will take a while to get this done. But it is very doable if you have a little bit of patience. And so I am going to speed this up because nobody wants to watch me do this for an hour. So go ahead and take your time. Make it work really well. So I thought I measured better. It's really hard to measure well with something like this, but I thought I did better. Um, and one of the things I just noticed, um, I'm gonna have to skip one of these rows and come back and get most of this. So the good thing is this stuff is not fully stuck on there yet. So it will be doable to be able to get that last line on there. Again, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's sometimes what you have to do with these projects. And so 
overall that's starting to look really really good so I want to go ahead and test this it did say that you're able to use a power brick in the instructions but I hate to say it it's not working so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a battery pack and see if it works with that I did already put AAA batteries in this and it does work. It will be hard to see, it is daylight, so uh, don't worry about that. So we'll go ahead and turn that bad boy off. It does work, I was really hoping not to use these and be able to use that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy. So remember the cardboard is already in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and take and put this in. It is a very tight squeeze, which is kind of what I wanted. Uh, then we'll go ahead and just go ahead and connect this one. So, remember, turns on, turns off. Go ahead and put and squeeze this guy down and under. I guess honestly, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it to where I can kind of reach it in the front. That way, when I need to turn it on and off, I can. be a little change in my original plans but to be able to just reach it right there and then as you have disc in here that will naturally kind of sit how it should so now I'm gonna put some lights on the back here so it's the same process you are probably gonna need that blade to get this off unless you're a superhero I'm not so I want them both to kind of be on the same side so I'm just gonna start this here. This should go really quick, but I'm still gonna speed it up for your sake. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add the second little charger. Again, I was really hoping that USB worked, but it did not, and that's kind of life sometimes. So let's go ahead and jam both of these under there, load up some disc in this thing, turn it on, and uh, see what we get out of it. Sound like a plan? Let's go ahead and put some disc in. I'll even throw the mini in there for fun. And we're gonna go ahead and cover it. And I'm gonna take this in my garage and uh, show you the rest of the video here in just a few seconds. So we'll let that charge for a few minutes and show you what it looks like. So we are now back in my garage. I literally have turned off the lights and shut the garage door. There's still some visible light coming in. You can see my hand blocking some of that. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see how sweet it turned out. Wow, that thing is glowing amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and kill both of those lights. Mini turned out really well. The disc turned out really well. You can see there's some little imperfections, but again, this has just been a couple of seconds in my garage. And uh, as you're playing all night, those things are going to be lit forever. If this was helpful, go ahead and comment. Put uh, a thumbs up for me. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.